Hey, good people. It is Tashira from Politics and Fashion. Poops. Poops. Please. Hey, good people, it is Tashire from Politics and Fashion here today with my summer favorites. Uh, as you can imagine, Poops is on the list. My very disobedient dog that you just heard barking is not. Sis is 28 in dog years, and I feel like when she hit 25, she thought she was grown. So she runs the house. Uh, nevertheless, we are here now. And if you would like to see some of my favorites for the summer that include all kind of lifestyle items, including a book, a notebook. I said I wasn't gonna buy a notebook. Remember I said that in my note, don't buy list, my no buy for 2023? Girl, I literally just remembered that. God dang. We fall down, but we get up. Uh, and so I am gonna share with you things from across categories that I think you will love that I have also been loving. Let's get into it. For a saint is just a sinner who fell down and got up. You ever been down and you got back up? Turn to your neighbor and say, I got back up. Turn to your neighbor and say, he's a way maker. He's a lily in a valley. Somebody said he's a ram in a bush. All right, enough black church references for the folks who have no idea what I'm talking about. Let's get into this Brazilian bum bum cream. She has been everywhere, one of Sephora's top sellers, editor's picks, and countless magazines. I'm the only one that is late to this party, so I know y'all are saying, duh, to Shira. Um, and I can't quite describe what it is that makes it such a great product. Let me know your opinion down below if you have ever tried it, because obviously, we've tried a million lotions in our lifetime, right, or body oils, and so there's something about this that makes it stand out that I can't quite articulate. I think it's that it is fully hydrating. It absorbs completely into your skin. But what it does is it doesn't leave your skin feeling greasy, but you still have a shine. There's something about the formulation that works well. I think because there's Brazilian nut oil in it. Um, the smell isn't too fragrant, but if you are someone who is sensitive to fragrances, it might be a little bit too bold for you. The top notes are pistachio and almond, which I definitely smell the pistachio. Um, and it has, as a mid notes, heliotrope, jasmine petals, vanilla, salted caramel, and sandalwood are the dry notes. And so just a little tidbit for you about how it smells. However, I know for a fact it comes in many different versions now. I got this in a, uh, like a gift bag during Miami Swim Week, and that was in... Uh, the beginning of July, and this is almost finished, y'all. I wear it every single day. It is just a great, great, great body cream. Sticking with body care products, I have the MFK 724. I shared this with you all in a vlog, but I thought that it had to be mentioned in this video because it is dynamic. Oh. It's given summertime. It is given yacht life, girl. It's so good. By the way, I put perfume under my neck and in the crease of my arm because I was told that if you put the fragrance there as you move, it emits the smell. I don't know, y'all tell me if that's true or not. Jay, who is my fragrance aficionado, let us know in the comments. Um, but I got this as a gift at the beginning of summer. I have worn it all summer long. And I don't go through my perfumes quickly, but this one, she, she's put in some work, okay? Uh, if you know anything about fragrances, then MFK is a very popular brand. They make the cult classic Baccarat Rouge, which I have, but I wanted something different, and so I got this. It is light, it is airy, it is summery, but it's not too sweet. I like to smell more kind of crisp than I do sweet. And the fragrance notes are white sandalwood, bergamot, two that I absolutely love. Anytime you got me on some sandalwood or bergamot, we down for a good night. It's gonna be a good time with that dag on uh, sandalwood and bergamot. Just, just know that. Okay, jasmine from Egypt. I don't know where she could get jasmine from, but it has from Egypt. So 
uh, note that, and also musks. So it's sexy, it's sultry, but it's fresh and it's light. So if you think about Baccarat Rouge being on the heavier side, this is giving that same type of sultriness, but it is more kind of fresh and flirty. And so I love it. As you can see, once again, we've had a good time this summer. I would definitely repurpose or repurchase this um, because I should have gotten a larger bottle. I'm here to tell y'all that right now. Now, let's go to the item that had me shook that I forgot that I was not supposed to be purchasing, and that is a notebook. So a little bit of a story, and you'll see why I was feeling spendy that day. Uh, my grandmama turned 80, and my mom had this great idea. She was like, let's take mama to the mall to do some luxury shopping. My mom loves to go with me. Mind you, she's never bought anything luxury, but she loves to go with me because she likes the treatment that you receive. And she's so sweet because she thinks that they just treat me like that, and I don't have the hard to tell her they treat everybody like that. Everybody gets treated like that. She's like, you go and they give Shia champagne. And I'm like, they do. Knowing good, full, and well, they give everybody champagne, right? So don't tell my mom this because it will be one of the biggest devastations of her life. And so anyway, she was like, I want mom to have that experience. I'm like, I love this for us. So we go down to Louis Vuitton in Orlando at Mall of Millennia. Hey to my Mall of Millennia family. We were treated excellently by the Louis Vuitton staff at Mall of Millennia. Uh, we go in and my grandma decides that she wants some sunglasses. Now I'm going to pop her up on the screen because this gets all also one of my favorites actually of the summer because grandmama wore these sunglasses y'all day and night she wore them everywhere but to sleep while we were in Punta Cana celebrating her birthday so she loves her sunglasses okay so obviously we're having a good time we're sipping champagne and then I go to pay for the sunglasses and I look down and I'm like Oh, y'all got notebooks. Now, mind you, I have my LV agenda, which I use every single day. I didn't know they also had notebooks. It's so funny because my good sis, uh, consignments and cappuccino, cappuccino and consignments. I'll link her channel down below. She talked about going abroad and this was the only thing that she got from LV and it being funny because she was like, y'all, I went over there and I got a notebook. I feel the same way, like to be sharing with you a luxury notebook but if you you if you're a paper lover you get it okay and i am obsessed okay so we have the classic lv monogram we have the colorful logos kind of dispersed without and i don't know if this will come up on camera but let me try can you see you can barely see but the paper has a super slight LV watermark. I mean, this is what we paid for. This is what we came here for. I don't traditionally go up for a lined notebook, but this has been so good. I did so many doodles and scribbles in it while I was away, content playing, etc. Absolutely love it. And the good part about it is that it's thin enough to also fit into my uh, larger agenda. And so this is something that I'm sure I will have for a long time. I have so many notebooks until I don't have to fill this one up very quickly. But the paper feels fantastic to write on. You have the gold foil on the outside. Give this to a luxury lover who also loves planning, productivity, or journaling in your life. You cannot go wrong. It's definitely been one of my summer favorites. Now, let's go over to wellness for a second. I have never in my life been someone who has consistently worked out until recently. And it has been one of like the joys of my week. Just really making time to move and for movement. And specifically, um, I have been using an app called Future, which I shared with you all in my uh, in a blog recently. I think it was in my Pride blog. I will show you what it looks like because the app is such an easy interface to use. I have a personal trainer. I have met with her. 
filled out an extensive questionnaire. My trainer, Amy, she's about her business. She is very well educated around the science of both nutrition and exercise and how our bodies work, just physiology in general. I feel like I can trust her. I trust her workouts. She drops them into the app for me three times a week. It could be more if I want it, but I know that to get into the habit, I have to start small. And I've done everything from strength training to cardio to stretching, etc. And it has been the best and most useful kind of wellness tool I've probably ever had, especially because, as y'all know, I travel so much. And so to have a personal trainer right there beside me, no matter what country, what city, what state I'm in, has been clutch. And she also is super encouraging. She sends me messages on Monday. She's available during business hours if I have questions for her about a workout. I give her feedback about each workout. She can see my heart rate, etc., my steps, any other workouts that I do during the week because it does sync to an iWatch. Future for me, I'm not, this is not sponsored, trust me, but Future for me is a great app if you are trying to reach fitness and wellness goals. And so uh, that has been a fave of mine and I'm excited because for me, I work out more when I have cute clothes. Let me know if you're like that. I work out more. Um, and so Nike recently put me on their PR list and I got some new cute workout clothes from Nike. Get into this top and this bottom. They're simple pieces, but they are so freaking cute. Um, I like the fact that the sports bra actually is full coverage and it can be loosened or tightened in the back. The shorts are high-waisted. Funny enough, I actually have them. I have them on. You can't see. This is the H&M bandeau top, by the way. But I have them on now. Uh, very comfortable. I love that they're high-waisted, by the way. Um, and then I got a pair of sneakers customized, y'all. I actually took my time on the website, and I made a pair of sneakers in a colorway that I love. As a matter of fact, let me go grab them. These are the Nike Pegasus Trail running shoes. I actually just realized, y'all, that these are men's shoes but I wear a size 10 10 and a half in women so it works um and I have had the opportunity to customize every single color and element that you see on these shoes from the green here the Nike swoosh the laces everything and I was impressed because even though uh, it was a custom order. They still came in about a week or so, and they are so comfortable. They feel like I am walking on clouds. Then that's important for me when I am doing, I don't tend to run a whole lot, but I love running shoes because I feel like they protect your knees. And so when I'm doing certain like aerobic exercises, having this type of shoe works great. And I love that little pop of color with the green, but I knew I also wanted a neutral shoe. And so all of my Nike pieces have been my workout faves. I will link some of my favorite ones down below because for me, it's not just about the sports bra and also the bike shorts that I'm wearing today or the, uh, the athletic shorts that I'm wearing today, but also I'm getting into sneakers more just in general. And so um, they have some great shoes over there as well. And then I got y'all the Bottega dupes. These are the Bottega dupe earrings that were on Amazon. Uh, you all know that I first talked about this Kenneth J. Lane pair as being a Bottega dupe. These are clip-ons. The backside is hollow. They're not as bulbous. And I have loved these. I still love these. But I was itching to actually try the true Bottega dupes. And so... Y'all told me that they were over on Amazon. It took actually a little bit less time. I know when I read some of the reviews initially, the girls were saying that they were taking like two weeks to ship. The pair that I got, I'll link, it, they came in like two or three days. So that was definitely good. And I'm impressed. I am. 
I have not seen the Bottega ones in person. And so this is not a true like review. I'm just telling you what I love. And even though I just got these, I have worn them a lot off camera. Now, because I wear gold everywhere else, I tend to keep like my ring and, and my wrist wear pretty minimal when I'm wearing these because they are such a loud pop of gold. But I don't change out any of my other piercings. I just do the whole mixed metal thing, which I think definitely works. I have not seen the gold, but if they're anything like this silver pair, they are amazing. Just think about it. <laughs> think about it. I don't know how much longer these earrings will trend, but one thing I can tell you is that spending about $25 versus spending over $1,000 is the way to go. And a book that I have loved this summer, please no spoilers because I haven't finished it. It's called Dele Wed's Destiny and it's by Tomi Obaro. Um, I am someone who loves any type of fiction that is set in the continent of Africa, specifically West Africa. Um, my love of uh, literature really was cemented by Things Fall Apart. Uh, you all know that that is a classic book. And so now there's just something about a book that's set in Africa, and again, particularly West Africa, that I'm just going to pick up, gravitate towards, and read it cover to cover. So the book is about three friends who meet in college. They all three go their separate ways. They come back together for one of um, the friends. Their daughter is getting married, and it kind of takes you through through a series of flashbacks of what their lives have been like leading up to that point. And they're probably about midlife, maybe 45, 50, somewhere around there. Definitely a big age, but still young enough to have a lot of life and vitality left in them. And it's just about how they're reckoning to or with the point that they are in their lives. And also has some key elements, especially for one of the characters, around what it has been like to be a woman in Nigeria at that time period and the compromises that she has had to make uh, in order to be this very kind of like high-powered, I think, government official's wife. Either way, it's an easy read. It's fun. It's not too complex. I definitely can recommend this book. Next up, let's talk about bags. Um, both of my Goyard pieces, I have one is a handbag. Go back and see my luxury uh, haul video for that one. But the one that y'all have actually been wearing more and using more because it also serves as my toiletry kit has been this. It's one of Goyard's newest pieces. It has, as I shared with you all in that video, a wristlet, which is great. The inside of it is huge. I went to Richmond a couple of days ago, threw on my toiletries in this. I'm getting ready to go to Pittsburgh. I will put it in this, on uh, my toiletries in this. And then the great part about it is they are having a kickoff event while I'm in Richmond and I'm going to take my toiletries out of this and carry this as my clutch. I mean, it just honestly has been one of my favorite luxury pieces in my collection. And I thought after my Bottega clutch, I was done with clutches, but there's something about this also having a wristlet that I really, really love. Um, and also the shape of it as well, because as you can see, it's thin up here. And thicker on the bottom. I got this at the Goyard in Miami at Ball Harbor when I was there for swim week. And the colorway is classic. I don't know, y'all. It just has been super easy and it fits so, so, so much. So uh, it has been kind of my handbag favorite of the summer. And my last item is actually a home item. It is this credenza that I got from a local interior design and furniture store called Sukasa. I visited their boutique in uh, Baltimore, but they have several throughout the DC Metro. They may even sell online, so I'll make sure I have their website down below. Before I even get into the piece, let's talk about the customer service, okay? Went into the boutique, they were so sweet. Like just kind people, right? Everybody say hello from the person who was sh like preparing things to ship, not even the person that's on the sales floor, to the actual sales associates, to the manager, just like love their jobs type, right? And uh, they were able to ship this product to me, or not ship it, but deliver it to me within a matter of days. It got here. A week later, they called to make sure everything was okay. A week and a half later, I got a handwritten note in the mail. 
And I'm like, okay, y'all just want to take all my business. If, if you want it to be the only place I buy furniture from for the rest of my life, that's all you have to say. <laughs> because that level of customer service is impeccable. And I love the idea also of supporting a small business. And so uh, I walked into Cossum. I was in, I think, Fells Point or one of those cute little neighborhoods in Baltimore. And I walked in and y'all, I've had my condo since October of 2020. And I did not have really a credenza or like a media console that I was in love with. The one that I had was way too small for the size of the television, was also the wrong color. Girl, walked in, saw this and saw the price. Knowing how much furniture costs these days, it was, right around thousand dollars or so i said wrap this up wrap it up wrap it up wrap it up i'm i will take it home and so it has that mid-century modern effect to it it looks in my opinion so good with this coffee table the coffee table y'all is from west elm and to have like that golden hue of the drum and the wood at the top is almost the same color as the credenza then you have that light wicker there, which gives it kind of like a more rustic vibe. You know what I'm saying? Because like, I want you to know that I'm chic. But I'm also a little rough around the edges, Shundo. Um, a lot of people in the back. It's I'm a little rough, but I'm chic. So it's, it's the duality for me. Um, and it's long enough because my television is about 55 inches. I don't know why I have that big old TV. I don't even watch TV. And definitely I don't watch it in the living room. Alas, I have it. Um, and so I needed something that the television could sit in the middle of, or at the very least, could expand to be larger than the television. So as soon as I did it, I moved the mirror because I feel like the mirror, which is from Home Goods, by the way, would go well beside it. I got my plant here, a few books as well, tabletop books all about interior design. I also um, have a vase from um, CB2, one of my favorite stores for interior goods and kind of like small tchotchkes. And I just think it works so well. Um, the living room just seemed, as soon as I put it in, so much warmer and inviting in a way that I could not have put my finger on until I got that piece. And now the living room feels complete. Um, I am going to get a very, very large piece frame to go above the couch. And once I do that I promise y'all a living room tour that is much more official is coming and that is it good people those are my summer favorites those are the things that I have absolutely been loving many of, the things of these things I have talked about all across the internet outside of YouTube which of course is longer form content and so you want to make sure that you are part of the politics and fashion tribe that gets all of my unboxings first and also that you are following me on Instagram and on TikTok and you're watching my shorts too y'all uh, there's good content coming down the pipeline on shorts that I would love for you all to see. That's about all I got to say. So I guess I will see you good people across the internet. Peace.